Tonight, Governor David Ige is getting ready to clear the homeless out of Kewalo Basin and Kakaka Waterfront Park. KITV4's Paula Akana shows us that the sweeps should get started next month. The enforcement efforts um, will start with uh, the Kewalo Basin Park first. Um, we plan to do our initial phase in Kewalo Basin and then following that, do an evaluation and then prepare to move into the larger um, Kaka'ako Waterfront Park area. State Homeless Coordinator Scott Murashige is trying to reclaim the parks in Kaka'ako and keep them from becoming the next homeless encampments. Starting November 12th, they'll begin enforcing park hours, meaning both Kewalo Basin and Kaka'ako Waterfront Park close at 10 p.m. Kewalo reopens at 5.30 a.m., Kaka'ako Waterfront at 6. While many of those living in Kaka'ako's large encampment that was swept by the city found housing or went into shelters, many of them just migrated next door. The state says about 40 people have moved into the Kewalo Basin Park, while 90 have pitched their tents at Kaka'ako Waterfront Park. The governor visited the area Friday to get a first-hand look. Definitely, it wasn't um, the same situation on Ohi, Ohi Street or anything in Kaka'ako, but you could b begin to see um, um, the homeless starting to settle in. You know, the tents were back up. Um, it seemed to be a mix of individuals and families. Starting this week, sheriff's deputies and staff from the HCDA will visit the two parks to hand out information and to offer information on service providers. Much like with the Kaka'ako sweep by the city, the state will do it in phases. And Murashige says the dates, including November 12th, will be flexible depending on shelter availability. The governor says they learned a lot from the Kaka'ako sweep. We do know that, um, that a homeless um, the homeless really do migrate to areas where there is no enforcement. Uh, so we know that on a going forward basis, uh, we will have to have uh, some program of compassionate disruption, just as the city does. Paula Akana, KITV4 News. And the governor says that they are also doing outreach and collecting information on the homeless encampments in Wahiawa, Waianae, and Waimanala.